Eliza used to bring me to a place like this. Who's Eliza? Oh, my uh, adopted mom. Every Tuesday and Thursday. <laughs> You're adopted? So am I. Really? Except for my place was Mondays and Wednesdays. I'm gonna test the pool. You're gonna test it? I have a friend at the FBI who helps me on stories. He tests stuff. Oh, really? You know what? When I made that device, Jean tried to tell me that no one was ever gonna use it. And I said to him, I said, Jean, one day someone's gonna need to take a sample on the go. Um, this is an advanced hydromorphic carbon nitrate compound. What does that mean? It's a synthetic compound that, when combined with water, exhibits the exact same properties as, you guessed it, lead. And if someone's exposed to it, the exact same symptoms as lead poisoning. Well, how did it get in the swimming pool? It's in the chlorine containers. They've been using it instead of chlorine. Sam and I are gonna try to track down the manufacturer, Acre Lee Chemical. Acre Lee Chemical. Yeah, you know it? No. I feel like I you do. You. Is it you? Did you do it? Probably. Yeah. You used it to poison kids in swimming pools in order to drag my name through the mud. <laughs> Come on. That's it. That's what you're bringing? That's what you got? I say you did it, you say I did it. Oh, well, uh, Lena? No trial. No jury. Just erased from the world. I don't think that's your decision to make. Help. That's not a good thing. Mayday, Mayday, this is Lena Luther. Jam the transmission. I mean, a cargo plane headed directly for the reservoir. They're gonna dump chemicals in the water. Sir, bring the plane up three degrees. The release isn't working. I can't dump the payload. Good. Crash the plane. Are you sure? Crash the plane. Treated to dissolve in water. The plane crashes, they'll poison everyone. I'm gonna get on the water. Imagine being so like petty and lame that you do this. I don't get it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh my god! You're a strong, strong, strong superhero, man. What was that for? Just uh, a little gunshot residue. He's gonna frame you. Or oh. kill you, I guess. I heard they found the guy. Yeah, he was some crazed lone wolf former Marine for the Air Force. He had a bone to pick with her family. It's too bad he killed himself because we could have brought him. Yeah, it's too bad. Hmm. It's almost like he did it. Let's say, for instance, I was your enemy. Thing for you to do right now would be to kill me. Or she could Shoot stop James. you. You don't have what it takes, do you? I didn't know I had it in me to be happy or to be accepting of myself. I never would have gone. I never would have gotten here with. Sad. You're gonna be a great mom. Mm. I've never had anyone like that in my life. It's because you've never had a sister. <laughs> Two. Two Aww. sisters. Aww. <laughs> 
know it's too much. <laughs> you remember when you said that uh, if I lost Maggie, that I would be at a bar drinking, that I would be broken. Hey, it was a successful relationship. It just was one that wasn't meant to last. John, Sakara, you're gonna have to get by the DEO without Alex and I for a couple days. Where are we going? I'm going home. That's weird. Maybe because one of the bullets hit you? Uh, well, that was Supergirl Season 3, Episode 5, titled Damage. Pretty decent episode. Um, it was, it focused on Lena and how people treat her because of her name. Um, Morgan Edge is like, dude, the actor, look, credit to him, I guess. Uh, he's really good at playing a jerk. <laughs> it was a jerk in Heroes. It was a jerk in... Uh, Asians of S.H.I.E.L.D. but like I kind of grew to like, like him a little bit um, and he's a jerk here poisoning kids just to get back at Lena what the fuck is wrong with you um so yeah that was fucked up uh we had Alex and Maggie break up which I'm really sad about I don't know if it's like for good but it kind of feels like it because Seems like they're not going to be changing their minds. Um, which is kind of really sad because I really liked them. Um, originally I wasn't all that interested in the idea. Um, of, uh, I, I thought it was very strange that all of a sudden Alex is, is into girls. Uh, like, whatever. But what they did with it was actually really beautiful. And I really, I can really appreciate what they did. Um... Even just for, like, people that feel like they can't come out and all that kind of stuff. So, to be able to see something like that on television, I think that's... I think it was it was a, a beautiful story to tell. Um, and I like that they didn't just... Like, if they wanted to break them up, I like that they didn't just do the, the typical one cheats on the other or one changes and doesn't feel the same way about the other. They did something very interesting here in showing that neither of them are in the wrong. It's just they're two different people who want two different things. Um, and neither is wrong for wanting that. And I thought that was very nice. Uh, you don't see that a lot on TV. Usually, like, people break up because of toxic reasons or something like that. Um, and I can appreciate... Um, yeah, I can appreciate the fact that neither of them felt like they were in the wrong here. Um, I I feel like it was a successful relationship that just did, wasn't meant to last, I suppose. And that's kind of sad. I'm now thinking in, like, retrospect as well that, like, maybe the like whole engagement idea was probably a bit quick. Um, considering, like, I don't know, I feel like, this is just me, I feel like this was her first real relationship with a girl, and I feel like they rushed a little bit into, like, uh, getting engaged and almost married, <laughs> um, whereas... I feel like, I don't know, I feel like maybe it was just like a fierce love kind of thing. Um, kind of like how, like, you know, if you're 16 and you're still together with someone, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, never mind, don't worry. I'm, I've lost what I was saying. Um, but yeah, I really did like them together. And I'm sad that they've broken up. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.